Hello friends, I am Vinay Kumar. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to print Hello World program in ARM Cortex M4 by using STM32F4 discovery board. For that, first I opened this STM32 cube ID. Here, first we need to create a new project. Here, see, create new STM32 project. Click on it. Here, the project is initializing. We have to wait for some time. Here, observe. After initializing, uh, it opens a new page. Here, select board selector and here type your board name that is STM32F407Discovery board. Okay. After selecting this board, here it is. It will appear here and then click next. And then here you have to give your project name. I am giving hello world. Hello. Hello world. And then here target language is C, target binary type is executable and target project type is here select empty not STM32 cube because here you are not programming STM32 board, here you are programming ARM Cortex that's why you have to select here empty and then finish. Okay, here it is it created a new project that is hello world, here uh, open the source folder, here it is main.c, this main.c is nothing but a main function for this project. Here I am going to write printf statement which printf hello hello world here backslash n okay here I wrote hello world and I am going to include stdio.h stdio.h okay let me build so I am building here building is nothing but uh, uh, compiling the project and checking whether either, uh, either there are any errors or not. Here one warning is there that is FPU is not initialized. FPU is nothing but floating point unit. I already told you we are not using floating point unit here. For that we need to disable that thing. So go to properties and go to settings. Go to build set, uh, not build setups. Here go to general, uh, MCU, MPU settings. Here floating point unit is there, select none and here select software implementation and then apply rebuild index and apply and close. Okay, now I am going to build again. Here see now there are no errors and warnings. Now uh, before going to print this print of I mean hello world, first I have to configure few debug settings for that. I am going to debug configurations here. In debug configuration, here it is C, STM32, C, C++, click on it and see here, new launch configuration, click on new launch configuration. Okay, here is my project with the uh, ELF extension, that is nothing but uh, output binary file. Here go to debugger, here observe the default debugger for STM32 is stlink. Here you have to change it to stlink open OCD. You know, open OCD is nothing but open on chip debugger. Okay, you have to select this one and go to startup. Scroll down. Here, run commands. You have to add one run command. I will give that command in description <coughs> box. See here, monitor arm semi hosting enable. You have to give this run command here. Okay, paste here. I will give this run command in description box. Don't worry. Click on apply and click on close okay after this uh, go to properties and here go to settings not settings go to miscellaneous here uh, click on this plus and after uh, after you click on this plus you have to add this command that is observe here hyphen specs equal to rdi mon dot specs hyphen lc hyphen ir di MON. You have to you have to add this thing and click on OK and click on apply and rebuild index apply and close. Okay. Now observe here syscalls.c. Here is one function with syscalls.c. Before going to debug your code, you have to disable this thing. Okay, for that I'm going to properties. Properties here see exclude. Uh, resource from build. You have to click it. You have to apply, apply and close. 
See here, this syscalls dot c is excluded from the build. Now build again. Okay, it's built successfully. There are no errors and warnings. Now I'm gonna co connect my board with my system. After connecting, I'm gonna debug it. Go to debug as STM32 C++ application. Okay, it is debugging. It's debugging. Yeah, it is asking to switch into debug mode. Let me switch. Yes, here it is debugging. Uh, here observe, I'm going to next line. No, it's not printed my hello world. Here the mistake is, here the mistake is, I need to add one more function. See here, I need to add one more function before print off, then only it will print. Here the function is initialize monitor handles. Okay, I forgot to add this one. Initialize a monitor handles. And after a function calling, you have to add the function prototype also. Extend void, initialize monitor handles. Here, I'm going to add here. Okay. Before every printf, you have to add this initialize monitor handles function. Not every printf. Uh, before first printf. Okay. And now, I'm going to build again. Build. Yes, it builds successfully. Now, debugging. Yes, it is debugging. Now I'm switching to debugging mode. Now see here, the control control stops at initialize monitor handles. Now I'm going to step over and then again step over. Here observe, hello world is there. That means our print of successfully printed hello world program in ARM Cortex M4. I think uh, you understood this class. If you have any doubt, you can ask me uh, through mail or Instagram channel or Telegram channel. I will provide all my Instagram, Telegram and mail details in description as well as this run commands also. If you have any doubts, uh, let me know in the comment box. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.